We're the Homan. His name's Steve. Bonjour. And his name's Jay. Well, it was that last time we looked. That confused you for a second, then, didn't you, when I introduced you? It completely. Absolutely completely. It <laughs> doesn't Monday. take much, let's be brutally honest. No. He's been up all weekend drinking, that's what it is. God, He's been partying all weekend. Yeah, yeah. Empty the, what... empty the cocktail cabinet. Good man, good man. What are we talking about today, Steve? Oh, mate, well, today we're going to be talking about the Just Stop Oil protesters. What is yeah. going on there? What, what, well, what is this all about? I get it. Don't get me wrong. I do get it. But I don't get the connection with chucking things all over beautiful old works of art. And and, and yeah. I, I just don't get that. So, so for, for, people, for people that don't know, so this is it's, they're quite, a, quite a new group or quite a new group to the mainstream media. Um, they've just sort of come around and, and just started doing these mad protests. And um, apart from what Steve says, um, ruining priceless works of art, really. You know, it was a it was a Van Gogh, wasn't it? It was the it the, was. the flower the flowers, the Van Gogh flowers. Yeah. Uh, decided yeah. to two young girls. I think they were girls. They were probably non binaries. I'm looking at guessing. Yeah, best bit, safe bit, is to say that. Yeah, they. We'll call them they rather than her. Um, they uh, threw spaghetti hoops over the flowers and then super glued their hands to the floor. understand what the protest is all about but look at Greta Thunberg you know she's the most you know if you talk about climate activists she's the name that comes to, to, to your mouth easily straight away yeah. she has never ever destroyed anything she's never had to glue herself to anything um she's just literally got really angry and threw a little tantrum um but you know she's the message is getting across isn't it We've got these idiots. So those two young girls. I mean, to us, those two young girls who threw the the, the spaghetti hoops over the paintings. I think they should give them ten years in prison. I agree. I completely agree because it is. It's damaging, as you say. You know, it's not like it's not like they've chucked something across yeah. a, across the road or they've got a window or does it? No, you know, they've they've targeted a painting that is. It's a beautiful thing, and everybody else can share it. And and it's it is a work of art. So well, it's maybe... historical. It's an historical artifact. At the end of the day, isn't it? It's a historical artifact. I mean, they would yes. be probably better off to have thrown it over Rishi Sunak, really. At least but they washed off got somewhere, wouldn't they? They would yeah. have got somewhere. It'd have probably tax them. Have you paid VAT <laughs> on those hoops? On those spaghetti hoops, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and I think it's just sort of my... I mean, again, they're only young girls. They're probably only about 19, I reckon. I, I just think of, the, like, the teachers looking at them thinking, oh, my God, I cannot believe that they were that stupid, stupid, it's just stupidity to do such a thing. Now, one one thing I did see, though, and, and, and I love this, this is this... As, as, as you well know, I lived in France for a few years. And I love the way they do things. I loved it. And they had some people that glued themselves to the road. I don't know if you've seen. So no. they glued the palms of their hands to the road. Well, I love it. This is how they deal with it in France. So they just came along and literally ripped them up. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they should do. Yeah, just came along, grabbed them, ripped them. And they're all like, oh, my hands, my hands. It's all raw and, and obviously but well, why did you do it, you idiot? And literally drag them off to the side of the road and then the cars can continue going. Well done. Well, That's I exactly think how it should be done. I, I think they should get the police there with the big, um, like the big fellas with the uh, meat cleavers in. 
you know, I'd literally would say off. there and say, right, okay, you've got you've got you got 30 seconds to either pull your hand off that tarmac or I'm gonna get this meat cleaver and your hand's coming off with the meat cleaver. And that's how well, I'll do it. That's yeah. exactly how I do it. I mean, there was my mates, um, my mates says that all these van drivers are getting held up on the N25, but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. So one of the other things that they're doing is they are super gluing themselves to the M25, which if you, you're not from the UK is a major motorway all around London, very, very, very busy. It's a real main, um, what's the word? It's one of the main arteries. Arteries, the arteries, that was the word I was looking for. Arteries is one of the main arteries for for, for the, the country. Yes, you know, people getting from to the south. And they're getting onto the road, they're super gluing themselves to the, to the, to the pavement, and they're hanging in from the gantries, where, uh, which are above the motorways with all the signs. Yeah, because I don't have a future. And you might hate me for doing this, and you're entitled to hate me. But I wish you would direct all that anger and hatred at our government. They are betraying young people like me. I wouldn't have to be there if they did their lawful duty to their own citizens. I'm part of the Just Stop Oil Coalition demanding an end to all new oil and gas licenses in the UK. What we're asking for is what all the scientists are asking for, what the United Nations are asking for, the International Energy, the IPCC. How many more people have to say we don't have a livable future if you continue licensing oil and gas for you to listen? Why does it take young people like me up on a gantry on the M25 for you to listen? Um, and my mate says, you know, they should get, you know, drivers should be there with bottles of piss and just throw them over them. That will soon get him up. You know, there was one guy on there. He had a can of paint. When he was spray painting people's faces, and I and I, and I, and yeah. I get it. You know, because it's it's frustrating, and you're not doing. You, I think the message gets lost because people haven't got sympathy. Oh, completely. You know. Yeah, completely, we, Jack. Completely, completely. Yeah. You know, if they're trying to win public sympathy or get not. people on their side, which is probably more to the point, <laughs> how on earth? By chucking spaghetti over a worker. And there were some other people where they threw paint over another one, and I can't. Yes, something else. Yes, it was. Stop! My injunctions that are intended to silence. What are you going to do? It's protest. It's great picnic time. <laughs> we're a non violent civil disobedience you movement. You can tell from the tank top. You look like a we white know clown. that the changes <laughs> in the That's laws, the, the injunctions what against us, are irrelevant in comparison what with mass clown. starvation with the genocidal policies that our government is pushing for, with their 100 new fossil fuel licenses in the North Sea. We've been told we can have no new fossil fuels. And this isn't just radical activists saying that, it's the International Energy Agency, it's the Secretary General of the UN has said investment in new fossil fuel infrastructure is moral and economic madness. We cannot take any more fossil fuel production and if fossil fuels keep getting licensed we have more and more events like the one we've seen just last month in pakistan where 33 million people's homes were filled with flood water gluing yourselves to a road those two clowns that climbed up one of the big bridges and tied themselves up to a bridge that shut back for two days do you know, what, what do you think you're achieving? Let them super glue themselves yeah. to the floor. Like you say, let yeah. themselves super glue to the floor. Yeah, put some co like put traf put some traffic cones around them and just let the traffic carry on. That's <laughs> what I do. Ignore them. Best way. Yeah. No, I completely agree. But although I am just saying, I'm putting this out there to the the uh, the ladies of that fraternity. You'd probably get on a lot better if you glued yourselves naked to the road. Yeah, yeah, just true. Saying. Yeah, they could do some streaking yeah. at the, streaking at the football finals and stuff like that, couldn't they? Oh, she's there. Oh, this is this is fucking gone. She's fucking gone. Yes, oh, there, she did it. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. 
that would be that, far that, more beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, that's well Definitely. worth a go. See I mean, they have, with that. they have things like, do you know they do the World Naked Bike Ride? Have you seen that? You've never I've seen it? I've seen that on the Curve of a Queen album. Oh, right. Well, they actually do it every year. They do it all over the world, where people actually get on, on their bikes naked and just ride up and down. And, then, you know, it, it draws attention for the, to, the, to the protest about, about fossil okay. fuels, you know. And um, it's uh, quite funny. Um, I'm putting this down to take part in the next one, Steve, as part of the channel. I thought you might. Yeah. I just thought you might. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm. I'm just got visions of somebody having to clean all the saddles afterwards. You oh, want that job, yeah. You? No, you want to find it. You want a curry the night before, would you? Make <laughs> make sure you have the bike with a brown saddle if you do. <laughs> That's when you got dropped handlebars, and you know, like yeah. in the Tour de France, where they're literally. Just oh yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. no! It could be nasty. Could be nasty. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, so, you're right, mate. Much better oh. ways. There are much better ways of getting your message across. You know, we get it. We, we, well, we, yes, we do get it. To be fair, we do get what you're fighting for, but you're going about it completely wrong. Definitely. Absolutely, completely wrong. You, you're just making enemies. Just saying. There you go. That's it. Steve's your enemy now. He's onto you. He's clocked your number and he's coming for you. There's not more to say really, other than just stop oil. Just stop pissing about and get a new a, a new mandate. Really, you know, if you need public yeah. support to to win, you know, there's been a lot of pain through the ages for people trying to get, you know, women's rights and civil rights and all the rest of it. But um, I think most of those were quite peaceful, generally speaking, and didn't involve destroying. I mean, can you imagine if if the suffragettes had, had threw um, paint over or, or spaghetti hoops? Not that they had spaghetti hoops then, probably over paintings. I mean, they would have been locked up for life. Can you imagine in the early twenties? I no. don't remember, though. Well, I don't remember it, but I vaguely recall from my history lessons that uh, one of the suffragettes did throw themselves under the hooves of a horse, didn't they? She did. Uh, I don't think it was intentional. I think she tried to grab the horse and got kind of uh, pulled uh, pulled by it, and obviously then the rest of the horses trampled her. So I never think. Uh, I don't think it was actually intentional. I think it was unintentional. Um, I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do, viewers. You may know better than us. Sure, you do. Sure, you do. We're not the we're not the, the uh, smart sharpest tools in the box, are we, Steve? By any stretch? No, no, definitely not. No, but we are passionate, Jay. We're passionate we are. about what we believe in, and, yes. uh, and, we, and we we do enjoy imparting that to the rest of you. We like chatting shit, basically. <laughs> so, if you like us chatting shit, which we hope you do, um, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. And give us a subscribe. We would appreciate that greatly, wouldn't we? Very, very much so. I mean, it, it is lovely. I, I got to say. So I mean, Jay and I go back years and years, and uh, and and we we have always chatted shit. It's yeah. basically what we do best, I think. Yeah. And, uh, it's the a bloke thing. That, yeah. The fact that so many of you like being a part of it as well, and we love that. We we absolutely we love it. But, uh, we'll leave that there. Just stop oil, please stop, and we'll catch up with you all next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you, guys. Laters.